so I think the main purpose of art and like trying to simplify it as much as possible is to create an empathy window. So just to create feeling, whether it's happiness, sadness, fear, or outrage, um, because life can be monotonous and it can be mundane and it gives a little break inside that monotony. And I think the challenging thing for creators these days is that we live inside a time where f- people are both paradoxically completely hypersensitized to things and completely desensitized to things. And that's true because people are desensitized because once you've watched a film like Saw, right, and seen someone hack off their own leg with a blunt hacksaw, or if you've seen Two Girls, One Cup, which you should never watch if you've never seen it before, um, then you become your tolerance for your own discomfort gets pushed higher and filmmakers realise this and so they become more bold and more daring in what they do and so you can go to the cinema these days and watch a really uncomfortable scene like rape, abuse, murder and you could sit there without batting an eyelid or flinching because we're so used to seeing it that we're numb to it. So for that, for an artist's point of view, it's quite difficult to challenge people these days but then, paradoxically, we're also hypersensitized because ever since the internet came about, mass media used to be the main source where people got information, right? So newspapers, TV, people used to consume information from those sources. As soon as the internet came about and you have things like Facebook, people have to rely on, well, not people have to, but people rely on their mates for sharing information or loads of indie media networks get born and you can consume information from everywhere and it's not, suddenly it's not biased. And so mass media saw a massive decline and drop in people consuming it. They panicked and from the birth of that came like the clickbait generation, right? So you've got like super evocative language like you would not believe this. You would not believe your eyes if you saw this. And the dark side of that was that people now try to demand your attention by using super evocative language and it's like really trivial and mundane things get hypersensitized. So you could have like a celebrity tweeting something a little bit tongue in cheek, like nothing worse than you would say to your mate in your living room and like the media jump on him and he or she will get fucking crucified, like literally torn to pieces, like out to the walls. And I think that people are so impressionable that it then rubs off on them so when you watch like a YouTube video these days, yeah, and something's maybe a little bit tongue in cheek or something is maybe, or someone's wearing something unfashionable, look in the comment section of everyday people and it's like a fucking witch hunt. It's like you see thousands and thousands of comments of people being like, this is fucking disgusting, kill yourself. It's like that, it's like that deep and as an artist myself, and, and you so you probably experienced this as well. It's like you, you subject yourself to such an amount of criticism to the point where someone would tell you to end your life because people are so hypersensitized. So it's like, as an artist now, we have to tread this line between um, complete sensitization and also complete numbness and, and, and apathy to what you're trying to make. And I think that is one of the most challenging things about being an artist today.